And next here tonight, 400,000. That's how many Florida businesses receive federal back loans to survive this pandemic. But when it comes to minority-owned businesses, reporter for Saunders found a big disparity. When the pandemic hit the economy, Larry Thelmus was one of many Florida business owners whose operations froze. It halted, you know, sales for about eight weeks. Securing a federal PPP loan was vital, he says, to keeping the lights on at his lighting business. I was going into my personal checking, personal savings um, to maintain the office and maintain, you know, my payroll. While Thelmus, who is black, says he didn't struggle much to secure the aid, he's certain many of his minority colleagues had different experiences. A clear picture isn't easy because the Small Business Administration's PPP application didn't require race be provided, but looking at the numbers available does show a big disparity. Of the more than 22,000 applicants who volunteered it, the vast majority were white, with only about 4% black. The SBA maintains minority totals are much higher due to spotty info, but it lacks the data to back that. Black businesses uh, did not uh, get a PVP, particularly early on. That's Beatrice Lewis Saint, head of the Florida State Minority Supplier Development Council. She believes a disparity exists because minority owned businesses often lack the stronger banking relationships of white owners. With COVID, much of what we're doing moved to being online. So if you didn't have the documentation and information or relationship with your banker, it made it even more challenging. Add to that a study for the National Community Reinvestment Coalition finding 43% of the time, banks treated black PPP borrowers significantly worse and offered different products compared to white borrowers with slightly weaker financials. We're gonna lose an entire generation of entrepreneurs because they could not get the help that they needed immediately. With another stimulus plan in the works, Louis Saint is hopeful the federal government will improve things. She wants a more streamlined application process and reduce thresholds for loan forgiveness. It has been challenging. And Thelmus, who says he's been denied loans in the past, encouraged minority owners who missed out on PPP to not give up hope. You just keep going, and if you can't do it on your own, then you, you get help. At the Capitol, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News.